So why am I heading up here again? Oh, you needed, you're so lightweight you can make it over the bridge with two puffs. And I'm honestly surprised that the pet controller didn't get Jack to do it instead of me. Why? Because he's much more lightweight and he'd easily manage to pull these trucks and Gordon. I heard that, but it's true. But it is true, his Jack is pretty strong for his weight. Huh. He's not as light as me though. Yes, but you can haul more. Huh. Well, I've got to go. Bye bye. What Cole didn't realise is that he was running for danger. He soon rattled under the lift bridge and he quickly clacked along the track, soon reaching the curve. What he didn't realise is that his brakes were failing. Jack's eyes were open as he went around the bridge and as he went onto the viaduct. He suddenly started to brake as he reached the lift bridge, but he couldn't stop. The train was pushing him on and on. His brakes wouldn't work and he started sl sliding down the line. Oh, help! Cole cried. Cole was so surprised he couldn't even think of words to say. He rocketed down one hill and roared up the next. He soon reached the clickety clack bridge. His rear wheels suddenly derailed and started dangling over the edge dangerously. Somebody help! Cole pushed forwards, pushing the trucks. But he suddenly fell back and plunged off the rails and onto the hard ground below. Ooh, she hissed. Get me out, get me out, he yelled. Soon, he, he was rescued. Mm -mm. The trucks were rescued too, but what was worse about the accident is that Cole had to go back to the yards. He didn't like that one little bit. As he soon clicked to crack down the line, he soon met up with Gordon who had a face filled with sorrow for the young engine. Come on, let's get you home. And the two quickly puffed off to the yard. The two soon pushed into the yard. There you go. Just watch out for Marion, why don't you? Of course I will. Do you think I've been mad enough not to? Just then a peep came into a rush. Everybody hide! She's coming! <gasps> Without wasting any time, Jack backed up quickly onto the old bridge. They used to be used to go above the mine, which was used for the old narrow gauge railway. Though, must be off. I've got jobs to do, you know. <laughs> And Gordon quickly steamed away to the station nearby. Jack couldn't move. He was he was immobilized. Oh no, thought Jack, thought Cole. I'm stuck here whilst Marion comes to tell her tells me one of her rambling stories. Oh please, guess what's in my shovel? She's not that bad. I had to work with her, you know. She's, and what's not so bad is that she's unique since she's from America. There's nothing wrong with a bit of Americans on my railway. Huh. Gordon sighed and puffed away from the station to let Ginty through. Ginty was soon uncoupled and quickly trundled, trundled off to meet Marion. Ginty was awfully confused about Marion. This wasn't the Marion he knew. Ginty soon pulled in front of Cole. But nobody showed up. Cole waited five, then ten, then fifteen, 
then then thirty. Marion didn't show up. That's odd. Where's Marion gone? She's probably off taking a well-deserved break after shoveling the mine. Just then, an unfamiliar whistle blew, as and a sleek engine suddenly pulled was pulling backwards. Tender first. Well, well, well. Look who we got here. I just got to turn around real fast. Come here, flame. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, Spencer. Yeah, yes, yeah, Spencer. What, what do you want, my friend? Get here. Look who we got here. Who is he? Jinty and Carl. Well, this is unusual. Back off, flame. Whatever. Mm. Yeah, um, what? Nobody bumps the mighty Spencer. Yeah, prepare to feel his wrath. Whoa! Get out of my way! Wow! You better watch where you're going. I will. Later. Oh. I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you for that. No, you're not. Hey! <laughs> Bye. Get back here, Nope. Cole was a fast. Cole was fast like a weasel, and could easily weasel his way out of situations. Ah! Ow! You don't mess with me. <laughs> this isn't over. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yes, boss. Right away, boss. Let's go, boss. Come on, boss. Yeah, but I might stay in the sheds for a little bit. Uh, uh, okay, boss. Why do you always change your accents all the time? I like to. I don't like just one accent. Show offs. Now, come on, let's go.